Hey, I'm here in the water heater closet on a house that my company is just completing here at the lake. And I wanna to talk to you about some strategies for very high efficient water heaters. All right, so I wanna to talk today specifically about these two water heaters behind me and give you a little bit of an overview and a review of these. So let me tell you first about the Marathon and why I like it. The Marathon is an all electric unit. This plastic tank here is super insulated and they've got really top of the line insides. The anode rods, everything they're using is really top of the line on this unit. The statistic that I like best about this unit is standby loss. This unit over a 24 hour period experiences about 5% standby loss. So that means if our power went out today or we turn this unit off and our water inside that tank was 120 degrees, over a 24 hour period, that water is only gonna cool down by let's say seven degrees or eight degrees. That's really impressive. That's some seriously thick insulation on the outside. The next unit I wanna talk about is this Ream Hybrid Prestige model. This is a heat pump attached to a standard electric tank. They've been making these for quite a few years. In fact, I, I used the first generation of this model when it first came out. It's still going strong. I've really had good success with these Ream models. So what we're doing is we're gonna run this unit on, on heat pump only mode and not allow the electric coils in there to fire up. It's gonna preheat that water and dump it into the marathon. And the marathon's gonna just sip a little bit of electricity on normal demand times, just to keep that tank at 120 degrees. There's a side benefit too. You know that um, heat pump that's up here is basically taking the heat out of this closet, pumping that heat into the tank, and then it's gonna the, exhaust that cool air out of there. So we did something a little unique. This closet is inside the thermal envelope of the house. We're not in the garage, let's say. And so we've got a vent fan behind there that's taking the cold air out of this closet, dumping it into a great stairwell space behind me. And then we've got a pass-through vent here in the laundry to bring passively air into this house. So as this unit makes hot water for the house, it's also exhausting cool and dehumidified air. Now let's talk about why we use two in this house. I'm, I'm building a lake house for clients where a lot of times there's just gonna be two people in this house, but they're gonna have times where they've got a lot of family or they've got visitors. They, they could easily have some times on a Saturday night where they've got 10 people showering in this house. So we've got really a lot of hot water demands. With these two 50 gallon tanks heated to full capacity at 120 degrees, we've got 100 gallons of standing water. And basically I've got two electric backup units as well that are gonna help reheat that water very quickly. The way that we ran this system is we actually ran the Prestige first and we're gonna run it most of the time in heat pump only mode. We're not gonna allow the electric mode to turn on on this unit. It's gonna then dump that hot water into the marathon, which is gonna to have to use very little electricity because again, remember it's super efficient. And so now the marathon will then feed the house. And we could turn either one of these two off if we're gonna be gone for vacation mode, which is of course very important to do if you've got an electric water heater. If you'd like any more information on either one of these two units, you can visit my blog at mattreisinger.com. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.